So again, cause we're on a podcast roll right now. So um, have you guys heard anything about about Kaleida recently? I've only no. heard of it. I don't really oh, know yeah, any right. of the context. Okay, so Kaleida are the people that Red Letter Media make fun of a lot for essentially being the most shill like podcast there is for Star Wars. They're basically just like everything that is new that comes out of Star Wars is great. Uh, they have loads of like merchandise. They always talk about how amazing everything is. And um, the guy who's like one of the main people there is pissed off because Disney didn't invite him to, I guess, the Star Wars um, what was it, celebration. And then he asked them to, specifically, and he didn't get a reply, and he's really pissed about that. Pissed to the point where he doesn't want to shill for the, uh, Star Wars, oh. um, <laughs> Gal Well, I'm Edge. glad that you learned your lesson. I know, right? I can't believe that he stopped shilling for them after he wouldn't get an invite. Well, it's like, not dude, that simple, though, on. is it? Because the thing is, when you're a paid shill, you can't go off script. You'll get in trouble. And so this this thing has been going viral, and it's hilarious because yeah, just so just watch what happens. Well, I mean, at the time, again, yeah. So the the angry dude is on the right, and then the others are just listening to him and getting increasingly concerned because all, all of them are paid to be here, as far as I understand it. it was we already had a, we we had the, our show. We book out our show a couple weeks in advance, and I didn't even know. So Dorina's coming on today, and I had to leave oh, early sorry. and schedules and stuff too. And I don't even know if Christina is in. I don't even think she's in L.A. I think she came in. I don't even know where she is. I know you've admitted to it being butthurt, but I still think Christian, like, if you, not that you're asking my opinion, yeah. but I'm going to give it because I guess that's why I'm sitting sure. here. <laughs> I still think you should do your part of doing your job and is talk about it. About yeah, but it, I, yeah. and I'm going to be stubborn and say I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> um, I, and I you're don't. going to, though. What's that? You're going to. I don't want to. Uh, no, because it's our coverage. Uh, Haley's got a lot of really good interviews with Imagineers. Uh, that she's going to be so. First of all, first of all, I don't want you to do that on the air. You can call me in afterwards. No, no, so no. you know what? So then Where someone else hosts the show today. So, like, first of all, oh, so that guy's like a manager of some kind, and he's basically like, "Oh, you're doing it." <laughs> the guy's like, "I don't want to do it." First of all, don't do this live, guys. Like, this is the worst thing you could ever do. Dude, <laughs> this is like a repeat of the Dusty and Creationist Cat <laughs> podcast that failed after one episode. Fuck it, let's just air this out. Let's air out all of our dirty laundry live. And we're both we're both fucking idiot retard, but you knew that's Dusty and Creationist Cat. <laughs> and yeah, just for clarification, <laughs> wow. chat probably knows more about this than I do. I only know about this from vague context. You'll never catch me watching Collider, unironically. Someone else hosts the show today. You you don't have. It's the second time you've done this. The first time you've done this, you burst in the door. You burst in the door and screamed at us because we played the YouTube video no, and we no, didn't no, no, know no. it. I, I, that was I, the first time. I went in. I went in and let you know that you have been taken off the air already. I know, but you screamed at us. For I it. didn't scream. You, I just, you I didn't. Roxy, did he yell at us? I said, "Hey, look at this. Oh, he the yelled rest at me. Looks so uncomfortable." <laughs> yeah, yeah, all these. Just keep an eye on the faces of these other three people because they're just like, "What yeah, the fuck I'm is happening?" I'm on it. I'm on it, man. Roxy, did he yell at us? Uh, there's a clip. I, it's it's you, pretty. You, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dad, the, the answer is yes. You yes, yelled at us, and you embarrassed us in front of Kate Mulligan, who was sitting here too. If you want to do this on the air, I'll do it on the air. I would much Whatever, rather you, you did. You 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 started this on the air. You brought. You 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 started the show by saying you're not going to talk about it on Jedi Council, which I, is your show. Okay, but you're not the producer of it, and it I am was, actually. I am actually. You're actually uh, not. I, I, yes, I am. I'm actually. That was the deal I made with Fernandez. No, I'm also actually, uh, no, just the same way you didn't know. The same way you did. The same. <laughs> oh God! Why are you doing this like, live? Oh. <laughs> Live. live. Everyone's well, telling me the Ori trailer's playing at the moment at E3. Oh, watch it later. Uh, yeah, we can watch it later. Yeah, someone, no, that someone I, will upload it by the time that we're still doing this, so mm -hmm. we can watch it. Live. I was the I fucking head of the my reaction. Absolutely, yeah. Well, all of us are reaction. I mean, me and you are definitely invested. Rags, you, you, do you like Ori? I forget. Fuck animals. There you go. One point ahead of content, where you're, you're like, oh, I think you just had a development. I walk into to Fernandez, I go, can you clear it up? Content and development, yeah, to do. which now is not the case. You are, and I get it. But I, first of all, if you want to exactly. do this on the air, we do it on the air. Yeah. But I am not. But I am absolutely not talking about it today. You can have Roka host it. How about that? I mean, if you don't want to host the show, because I don't want to. Oh, I'm so sorry. You didn't get to go last night. You're welcome. See, you can if you want to do oh, this again. God. We can do it all the only because you you had the same thing. And what people also don't realize no, with you, no, you, you act you act hot headed. Cover. You act hot headed <laughs> all the time. Want... What do you even do if you were a guest on this show? You'd be like, I was. Do, 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 do. I mean, I know that I'd be I'd be I'm being recorded, so I just I just stand there. I just be like, mm, I dead eyed. I just pull my right phone out and be like, do, right. do, do, do. <laughs> And stare right at the camera. You just not move a muscle. Just sit there and smile. You, you, you look at the girl on the left. Like she's 
like going out of her way not to look at him. She's like, I just don't want to be. Wait, this is how you lose your job. <laughs> <laughs> you scream and yell at people, content. but you want to do it now? We can do it now. You don't want to cover Collider's content, is what you're just saying on on Collider Live. The show's called Collider Live. It's right. not the ah! show. It's called Collider Live, and it's called this Collider Jedi Council. And there's a lot of really good. Coverage well, maybe we should change that. that. Maybe, we should, maybe we'll change that, and we'll and we'll have we other talk conversations. About some really, cover, really well, good coverage that Collider's doing yeah. from. Oh Galaxy's my god, why didn't they cut the stream? I know that's the obvious fucking choice. They've taken this down, obviously. Um, but everybody's still copying to dogs. It's hilarious, and it's a look into like, it's not fun to have your opinions bought for you. Really not fun, especially when you actually want to make some form of a stand. Now I actually think that his stand is kind of childish. They didn't invite me. It's like, okay. Oh yeah, it's really stupid. But Christ. And he's like, that's it. I don't want to do the thing. And then it's like, no, you have to do the thing. It's what your job is. It's like, ah. Oh. I don't want to cover it at all. Yeah, That's just really that. bizarre. Okay, good. There's blue milk and there's people dressed in costumes. That's it. All right, moving on. Oh. All right, so <laughs> next, you want to still talk about this? <laughs> also, you just wrote, uh, catch me outside. How about that? Which I was really appreciative in that. Argument. But I just don't. What, what, what is it? <laughs> that girl went on Dr. Phil. Catch, like, me catch me outside. I just don't understand. Yeah, how about that? But why, but why, but why do that on the air? Why, why do that in the air? Why would you start this on the air? Why because you can have a conversation with me after. <laughs> they'd like edit it and then they start back and I was like, no, 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 no. Afterwards and say to me, hey, I wish you. Do you see she tried to rescue uh, it? She was like, oh, it was cool that you said this thing and then he brought it back and it was like, ah. You wouldn't have done okay. that. But I said, you want to come in the same way because I didn't call you out when you came in. You embarrassed us in front of Kate Mulligan when she's sitting there. It's Kate and Mulligan. felt like, oh my God. No idea, but I guess apparently this the... has happened before. Chicken in the black over there? Black hair, maybe? Oh, it could be, yeah. So. So our producer here at EFAP has never ever on air while we're live in our studio, and th this never happened to us. We're You're very talking about professional. Jay, yeah. Um, we're talking about our producer. I'm pretty sure he's the manager of EFAP. I'm not talking, sure if he's the producer. We're, we're talking about the, the producer, mm -hmm. the one who produces, Different if you things. understand Gosh. what I mean. The one who produces the cash money that keeps the studio lights on, you know, yeah, who pays yeah. the, the property taxes. Which is where they get you, by the way. Balin says, Wow, I wasn't invited to Tommy's birthday party. I don't want to do my job. Frank, you're 35. <laughs> do your job or your <laughs> This is the thing. Like, <laughs> really awkward. God, is this the way they do business? That was embarrassing. This is why it. this is why I'm very, 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 very very picky about sponsorships yeah. and i have to know all this shit beforehand that's why like the white with the watch thing i knew everything going beforehand i've got this watch next to me right now i'm gonna wear it tonight i to be wearing it tonight and i gotta be like uh, you can't enter into these contracts with the sponsorships where you have to shill because shit like this is like well now i can't be genuine about how i feel so well now i feel like a piece of shit because I'm saying things that I don't really mean. And fuck, like, this is the thing. It does suck to have to say whether or not you approve of a thing or you want to promote a thing when you actually don't want... This is what this comes down to. He feels cheated by the Star Wars brand and thus does not want to pro a promote a Star Wars thing, but he has no You're choice. You're kidding me. Ori isn't releasing until February 11th of next year? Damn. <laughs> oh, hey. Well, that was, like, my most February anticipated 11th. game of the year. Well, that's Jesus. the day before. That's the day before my birthday. You can get it as a birthday present. That, let's just that's hope it's good. Let's after just hope my it's birthday. good. It's like, oh I well, mean, I mean, I, I don't have. You'll have, 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 have all that. No, you'll have, have all that birthday money. You can good. spend that on my present. No, I don't doubt that don't, it will be good. It's just like, no, I won't have any money because my sponsorship with Game of Thrones was tragically cut short. I guess Doom Eternal is really the only thing I have to. Well, that and uh, well, is Cyberpunk coming out this year? Or I don't know. I, I don't think know. Doom Eternal is coming out this year. Otherwise, it's like <laughs> look. <laughs> no, it's okay, dude. No, it's okay. It's gonna be even better I mean, than you. I thought, mean, I'm not though. not really mad. Obviously, I mean, I I want them to take their time, and it's been because the first game released in 2015, then the uh, DLC. Uh, definitive edition that came out a year later so it's been I mean that'll have been four years of development time uh, if we're going like right after the definitive edition came out so that's a good long while still disappointed though I long while bad I agree with that
That's your mom, mom crying though. In here the other day, I didn't even say it, I didn't mention it, didn't talk about it. But it you do that because you knew that we got a, that we got a strike on the channel. But how do we tell the, the producer? Channel. We didn't know that. We had no idea that the, just the audio Cyberpunk was going to do that. Cyberpunk was postponed to no 2020. Idea. God damn it! Sorry. Well. So it's really only Doom Eternal this year, then. <laughs> Yay! Well, that's Don the thing. <laughs> like, I that's the thing that E3. Like, people say, "What do you think about E3?" He's like, "I don't shit E3." Like, I I don't I don't know if I could stress how little I care about E3. Because I've there's been all these games that get trailed out throughout the year, you know, like like the uh, the games I I've been reviewing, like The Plague Tale is great, Void Bastards is great. You have all these games that come out throughout the year, and so they're fantastic. And E three steals your attention away from a lot of these gems. <laughs> there's some fun memes on Twitter. I'm looking forward to showing. <laughs> The, there's someone who's already made a meme for the fucking Ash robot queen that we had in the opening minute of the show. <laughs> I, I, I failed to check my Twitter in time, that's why I didn't know about these. Okay. That's exactly what that does. Yeah, but, yeah, but same way reactions. When you sit down and you do reactions, like when Real Re Rejects do it, when we do it, we play video over it, and it doesn't ever get strikes. It just gets the demonetization. It, no, it does when you live stream, and I've said that a thousand times. Never to me. Yeah, no, no, I told, oh, I've told everyone on the show. Ne never to me. Times. I've never so heard that well, I, I've never <laughs> heard it once. I apologize for not letting you know explicitly that that was a bad idea. But it wasn't a matter, but what Even I'm telling you is it's not a matter The guy's, <laughs> the guy's face. <laughs> and and the, the, the chick sitting across from him did that thing with the lips that white people do, where they kind of bite their lips a little bit. Like, when you come yeah, in here and just say to me, to you would have said that day. If you would have come here and they're passing hey guys, a phone listen, between uh, you streamed it. It's <laughs> like, here, look at this. That. It'll be less. Would, okay, but you, you, I like you to imagine people. that they're just looking at me. There's a dick butt on there. Or when you're like, oh, see, we're shut down. I we're think, done. Oh my God. So embarrassing. We all know, we all know how, how, how that door slams open. That had nothing to do with my tone. Okay. All we're right. talking right. about the okay. mechanics so of the door else, opening though, who, right now. Is for that. On, I, I'm looking forward to hearing you guys talk about Galaxy's Edge and all of Collider's really good content. Uh, <laughs> so today so you, you can host it. You can host the show. Well, so no, I'll you can just do what we ask you to do. <laughs> just do what we ask you to do. Oh. Like, you, are, you are our employee. Oh man, that's you are our suck employee. To hear. This is you the do thing. what we tell you to. We pay you. This like, is how this arrangement works. Like me, Wolf, Rags, obviously like geeks and gamers, neurotic, all those channels. Every one of them, you get to do whatever the fuck you want. It's Say whatever amazing. The fuck you we want. can shit on anything we want. Change your mind in a, in in the moment. You don't have to cover what you don't want to cover. It's all brilliant. But this guy is just like, no, you'll cover what we tell you to. It's like, aww. You hosting that show? What do you think Cody's doing with the cameras right now? I can't even imagine. Uh, <laughs> I just mind, looked at it. I can't even imagine. <laughs> Cody, my she, favorite she already comment. left. Cody quit. Right. Yeah, She's Cody back. left a while ago. <laughs> Cody's out of the booth. <laughs> I, but, first yeah, of all, I think, I think that's it, though. But yeah. Um, so that's pretty embarrassing, huh? Yeah. I'm oh, glad oh. that we don't have anything and, like that here on our channel. And Red Let Media just produced. put out a video of Rich Evans laughing at this. Like, that's all it is. <laughs> He's just laughing and watching it. And it's because apparently they keep an eye on them because Nerd Crew is based entirely on Collider, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I mean, look at the comments for this video. It's all like red letter media stuff. Yeah, and it just confirms everything. They're just shilled to fuck. And the, the fact that there's still some semblance of a soul in some of their workers, it's like, oh, oh, they think they have a soul. Yeah, this this will be quick, and I suppose it's just because I don't even. What can we say about this that hasn't been said? But I, I feel like I kind of have to say something. Change the name to X Women Team. Woohoo! Oh my God! Look at the quality movie. of those awful suits. They look to... terrible. Oh, I can't wait to see this movie tonight. Me and my friend are so excited just to laugh at it. I mean, I wasn't laughing much at all. That was actually kind of a disappointment part for me, honestly. What, with um, King of the Monsters? I didn't like no, that. No, no, the uh, X-Men. And bigger risks. Oh. And for what? Please, tell me it's not your ego. Be oh my god, look at her acting. Or yeah, lack I've never of. been a fan of her as Mystique. She is not a good actress. The medal from the president. You like it, don't you? As opposed to being hunted and despised. Well, you know, actually I do. And then it's you got McAvoy, uh, McAvoy, sorry, uh, opposite her, who's like one of the best actors around right now. He's like I can't of, wait to see him in it. He's fucking he's like 
he, there's no role he can't take, which is really cool. <laughs> really good character actor. It's like, why would you put those two in a room? Why would you do that? It's all just a means to an end, Raven. What end is that? Keeping us safe. You should understand better than anyone that we're only ever one bad day away from them starting to see us as the enemy again. I gotta, I gotta pause. But, uh, you never know with this stuff. McAvoy is a god. This is true. I really liked him in Split, and then, and then, I mean, he was good in Glass. <laughs> Yeah. Again. So what? We wear matching costumes and smile in pictures that to make everyone feel safe? That is a small price to pay for keeping the peace. By risking our people to save their... What happened to the cool costumes they had in Apocalypse at the end? Too cool. I don't know, actually. Yes! yes. Did they just scrap them and think they didn't need them anymore? And then they were like, oh, I guess we need to make new ones. It's funny. I can't actually remember the last time you were the one risking something. Um... Um, he's so, in a wheelchair. It's so hey, awkward. What about this? He, he took, like, there was a joke in the fucking comment section that it, his response to that would be he picks up one of his legs like a wet noodle and just, like, goes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> like, how, you, you, you know, you're standing there telling me this. <laughs> so, he, second comment, she sounds more like an ex-wife. <laughs> so he literally Very gets shot him. and loses his ability to walk. Unless yeah, he that's like one of the top comments. Walks off his powers. I mean, come on. I'm not even a big X Men fan, and I know this. Hey, hey, Professor way, X can't cool. walk, lost his bestie to differing opinions, <laughs> wealth to construct chat. a school for helping mutants, and creates a team <laughs> to help protect humanity. And that bitch has the audacity to say, It's funny, I can't remember the last time you were the one risking something. Well, Thanks. this movie tanked. Yes. <laughs> and by the way, so. the women are always saving the men around here. You might want to think about changing the name to X Men. Uh -huh. Women. Well, oh, um. Um. Oh, you changed it again. <laughs> <laughs> again, there's not much to say about it that hasn't already been said. It's such a cringe line. It's not even delivered well for what it is, and it doesn't even make sense. The um, the event that takes place that makes her say that is because Jean Grey does the most significant saving in in the in the event that took place previously to this scene. However. Nightcrawler and Quicksilver are the second two most significant by far. They're both Does guys. Does Quicksilver have like a, a scene like the last couple movies that's at least mildly uh, entertaining? No, I'm so the only... sorry, but he gets like, taken out of the movie the... like in the first oh, fifteen minutes. You're kidding me! Not like dead, even though technically me saying that is a spoiler. But you don't see him until right at the end, then, and then it's just for him uh, to say hello. Dude, he was like the only redeem. Like the Quicksilver scene in Apocalypse is literally the only to see that movie. It's weird. It I really, don't you should only just look it up on YouTube. I don't get why they made that choice, but yeah, that's happened. <sighs> oh. but yeah, once you see it, we'll be able to talk about it on the next EFAP as being a pretty poop movie. Um, yeah. So. so next video is pretty depressing, to be honest. It's tough for us to go through, but we got to do it. It's important for journalistic purposes. But old Loke okay. has. Uh... <gasps> oh my God! Hold on! Hold hey, on! Don't play it yet! Don't play it yet! Oh God! Look how. Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a television set right behind me. Uh, right now, okay. Uh, okay. we have now a live feed from my brain. You need, to, you need to crop it so the face fills up the 